So when I got a well 90s onto the pipe and I got a flange on one side, I gotta make sure it's the same size flange with a 90 on it so I can accomplish to roll it evenly with another 90 on the other side like this. So that's a good way to roll it, all right? Got the helper there making the fit. Got it on my rollers. That one's kind of off of it. I more, I more so roll it on these rollers by off the hook chain and fab because those rollers I feel are the best rollers. But yeah, it is what it is. A weld I made a couple a couple days ago. All right, guys, I'm over here and um, I'm hot passing right off the bead. You see, I leave a little bit of trash in there because I'm burning pretty hot. And I'm running the 532. Is that how many amps there, Dylan? 207 amps. I'm running the 532 in there, and you can see I'm pretty much flushing it out with one pass it's taking me a little bit more in rods uh but i just wanted to kind of give you an idea of uh what i'm what i'm running and, and how hot i'm running so when i go to strike up this arc here a lot of people ask me about the striking of the arc and what i like to do is i like to strike it down this way it lights up about right here and then i drag it back up and then i start carrying it because everything you leave here on your strike path you're gonna burn it back out when you come this way with all that heat, you're gonna burn out whatever you dropped off to strike it. So if you broke the flux right here, don't worry about it. Keep dragging it, get it lit, bring it all the way back up, and lay it down and start spilling it because then you're gonna be able to burn out all that trash that you laid down. So don't worry about your rod being busted on the top. Just don't strike up right here and start right here. Drag it and strike it, drop all your trash off, come back up here, lay it down and start welding. You're gonna burn out everything.